Dr. Anita, and I'm going to show you how you can achieve smooth, healthy, radiant body skin from the comfort of your own home. There are a number of things that can cause dry skin. We do know that our skin is a very sensitive organ and it's very receptive to change. So maybe you're spending a bit more time in the bath and shower and you're not having to rush off to work each day. Um, that's one possible reason because when you wash your skin as we discussed it can strip the skin of its lipids that keep the skin hydrated. But maybe it's your stress levels that, that are causing dry skin. Now let's talk about that in more detail. We have little glands called the adrenal glands that sit above our kidneys and when we're stressed out we produce more of a hormone called cortisol. This travels in our bloodstream to our skin cells and causes those barriers to open up. So we start losing water more readily. So it could be our environmental stresses that are making skin drier. Regardless of the trigger, the treatment is the same. If you are washing your skin in the bath or shower, try and use a gentle product, one that isn't foaming because the chemicals used to make a product foam can be really drying. Look for a nice kind of nourishing uh, product that has, again, things like glycerin in it, apple amino acid cleansing ingredients, and avoid things that are heavily fragranced. There are some things that you can do as well to improve the kind of remodeling cycle of your skin, and I'm a big fan of body brushing um, to help exfoliate the skin. So I'm going to talk about the Braun Silk Epal 9 um, as a method for not only removing body hair, but also helping you to keep your body skin in check. The reason I mention body hair here is another thing that's coming up in my consultations, which I don't normally see so much of in clinic, is people asking me about how to remove their body hair. So now again is the perfect time for you to get really confident with your hair removal methods. So of course most of us know about shaving, that's where you use a razor blade to cut the hairs that have grown above the skin surface. Now this has um, lots of pros, it's convenient and quick and you know, Razors are very easy to access and quite affordable. However, you will get more rapid regrowth. So I do recommend if you're looking for a longer term hair removal solution, you might want to look into some other options like epilation or even IPL. I'm going to demonstrate using the Braun Silk Epal 9 how an epilator works. So an epilator is a method of removing hair from the hair root. It has a mechanical tweezer action that plucks the hair from the hair roots, so it can take three to four weeks for the hair to regrow, which is brilliant news for those of you who don't want to think about shaving every few days. With this device, you've got 40 micro tweezers around the epilator head that all pluck the hair at the same time, so you're getting really rapid plucking motions, and I find this kind of mechanism helps to reduce any discomfort. I mentioned earlier that dry skin is an issue, so one thing you could do in the shower or the bath every day is use the exfoliating brush that comes with this device. This uses a gentle bristle action that helps to kind of buff away any old dead skin. It's also really useful to reduce ingrown hairs as well. You can use this also in dry mode if you want to do dry body brushing, which is actually a really nice way of not only improving the health of your skin, but also reducing and eliminating toxins from the body and improving lymph drainage. The other hand piece I really like is the Cellu Massager Pad. When you turn it on, it really kind of deeply massages the skin. So it's great for improving circulation, lymph drainage, and I find this to be a really useful tool when you want to apply your body lotion. It feels like you're getting a really nice pamper.